Welcome to episode 100. Heading to the airport now, 14 and a half hour flight to SFO, San Francisco. There for two days, LA for two days. It's going to be a crazy couple of days. Let's do this. I'm going to miss this place. I don't know, something about leaving Israel. Makes me sad every time. The driver's here though. Well, you can't see the view, but you've seen it enough times. Gonna miss it. Although I do love Palo Alto, one of my favorite places on earth after Shanghai and Hong Kong, and of course, Jerusalem. All right, get in the car on the way to the airport. Ben Gurion Airport, Tel Aviv. We're heading out to San Francisco. I'm walking around. Who do I see? Aviel. Not just anybody. Aviel. Are you going to have a good time? Woo! I'm going to have a great time. We'll see you in a couple of days from now. We'll see how long it lasted. Waiting for our Uber here in SF. I bump into this guy. How long do we know each other? A like a long, decade probably, right? A long time, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen you in forever. Who are you? Idan Gazi. What are you doing here? I work here. Are you actually based here? No, I'm based in Tel Aviv, but right. I work for Heroku, which is a daughter company of Salesforce. So. All right, and you're coming here just for work, or are you coming here for something specific? Uh, work and Dreamforce, you know. Dreamforce. How was meeting, the flight? Meeting customers. The flight was fine. Yeah. Other than that, I didn't have a window seat, but you know. Did you sleep? A little. I did. Very bad. I'm Very sorry. Bad. I'm not a big fan of United. Anyways, good to see you. We're going to grab coffee back in Tel Aviv. Definitely. I'm going to leave you alone now since we're after a very, very long flight. Good to see you, man. Likewise. Rock on. We'll talk soon. Well, day one in San Francisco, I say I can sum up in one word. Jet lag. Holy smokes. Totally, totally jet lag. Toured a little bit of San Francisco, but basically just chilled, getting ready for the dinner tonight for which I was flown in. Tomorrow, wow, tomorrow I have some ridiculous meetings, including Oren Zev, the legendary investor, and an old friend, Liron Tapiro, who's coming with her Tesla for me to test drive, and several other meetings that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. There'll be much of vlogging tomorrow. I apologize for it today, but I'm literally totally jet lag. See you tomorrow. Good morning from Palo Alto. What a day I have today. My flight to LA is at 5.30 p.m. Until then, back to back to back meetings, starting the day at Izzy's Bagels for breakfast. Then a meeting, Eyal Shaked, who is somewhat of a legendary investor, and I'm gonna hopefully try to get him on camera, we'll see. Somewhat of a humble guy, I'm not sure if he'll agree to that. Then I'm meeting Shai Magzimov, who is a serial entrepreneur, sold his last company and is building something super duper cool and highly confidential. After that, I'm meeting another legend, sorry, but it's a crazy day, Oren Zev. Forbes just named him one of the top investors in America, one of the first investors in House and many, many other humongo companies. Really excited to meet him, and a couple of other meetings lined up, just really a fantastic day here in Palo Alto. The dinner last night was remarkable. Huge success. Then LA, meeting old friends for dinner, and tomorrow, perhaps, trying to make it to Universal Studios. So yeah, Wednesday night, back to Israel. So it's, it's a pretty jam-packed couple of days. Pretty exciting, though. Here we go. I had it, I forget, one very important meeting, smack in the middle of the day, meeting an old friend, Liron Tapira, worked with her husband at Interactive many years ago, and we are meeting for the sole purpose of me driving. Well, not the sole purpose. We're catching up, talking what she's up to, but we are meeting because for years she's been telling me I need to test drive her Tesla. So I will be doing that. Very excited. S-Type. I believe it's the P90, not the P100. Amazing car. I've only driven it twice. Very excited to test drive that. Hopefully get that on camera. I am a huge Tesla fanboy. So yeah, today's going to be pretty outrageous. Very excited. What a beautiful Palo Alto morning. Breakfast done. Heading to the Apple store now to see what's up with the uh, iPhone 10 and the lines and get a couple accessories. And then heading to the first meeting in about an hour. Breakfast was awesome. Time to go fruit shopping. I'm just going into my first meeting with Eyal Shakade. My iPhone X review, sorry, my iPhone 10 review. Every other iPhone feels awesome in the hand. The iPhone 10 is a whole new level of premium. The size is literally perfect because it feels great in your hand, but the screen is just bigger. I know this sounds super fanboyish, but it really does feel great. Super excited to get mine. Also, silver, a thousand times nicer than space gray, so very happy I ordered silver. Here we go. Okay, all right. so this guy right here. Welcome, welcome to Silicon Valley. Thank you so much. First of all, I feel like I'm in heaven here. You know, this is like another, don't get me wrong, I love Israel, I would never leave Israel, but this place is kind of awesome. This is to say. California dreaming. All right, totally. Uh, okay, uh, so I just want to say, it's, it's true about a lot of people, 
people, but you specifically, I think easily 80 people told me I need to meet you. You have a very, okay. very, you have, I just want to tell you something. If you don't already know this, you, you should know. You have a very, very solid reputation. Thank you. Which is interesting. I'll tell you why. Do you consider yourself opinionated? I do. You're an opinionated guy, right? But in a nice way. Yeah, but I picked that up on Facebook. Uh, okay. And usually opinionated people have, you know, less good names with some people, right? So okay. In other words, for okay. me, I'm opinionated. There are people out there that are, you know, haters. Okay. You don't have any haters from what I can tell, which is very impressive. Okay, yeah, come, come a little closer. Yeah, yeah. You're way better looking than me. All right, so, Sorry. okay, we're good. Who are you? So I'm El Shaked. I run Shaked Ventures, which is a family office fund based in Israel and Palo Alto. I moved here uh, from Herzliya two years ago to help Israeli entrepreneurs and founders who have their startups and want to come here to the Bay Area. Oh, that's pretty much it. We're good. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So that, that's yeah. what you're doing now, but yeah. you have a freaking like fascinating story. <laughs> give, me, give me like in a minute and a half your background. Minute and a half. Okay. So uh, part of the founding team of 888.com, which is an online gaming company. Massive. Massive. Online gaming company, uh, like the pioneer of online gaming maybe, you yeah, might one say. of them, yeah, yeah, okay. that's true. Lived in London and then Gibraltar for four years, worked there with the operation center of 88, then came back to Israel and started building this uh, family office fund and helping a lot of gaming startup to build their product and launch and get funded and come here. Okay, so like I said, what what I like, and I, now I can confirm now that we've, sit, we've sat for an hour, like I think you're pretty much, you're, you're known as one of the nicest guys out there, which says a lot because around here, like Amir Schwartz here, there are a lot of nice people here. There are a lot of nice <laughs> people. a high bar. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. You, you, you definitely like, again, I, you know, I'm sorry if I'm going to embarrass you, but what I like most about people like you is you might not know that you're a rock, you don't know that you're a rock star, but th there's no ego. That's what I like. There's no ego. Like, you know, who the hell am I? And you sat and you agreed to sit with me for an hour. We had a great meeting. And, you know, I, I like that. And I like that you're doing incredible things. And you're, you're, you kind of made it your, I'd say your purpose. Just help. That's true. And I think, like, like you do, Hillel. I mean, I learned it from you. I, I'm, I learned from the best, you know. <laughs> uh, but I think that's important. I think, you know, if I'm here and I'm able to help Israeli companies who want to, to succeed here and, you know, partner with the uh, corp dev people here and meet VCs, I'll do it. I have to give a shout out to the person who actually connected us, even okay. though again, like 80 people told me I need to meet you, but Tuvia Elbaum, the CEO of Zuta Labs and the right, 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 co-founder right. and CMO of You Move. You know that he's another company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm an advisor of both of them. I okay. love Tuvia, old, old friend of mine, known for 100 years, but uh, he's one of those kind of Jack Dorsey type, can run two companies, so he actually connected us. So I appreciate thank that. You, thank, you, thank you, thank you, Rock. Great meeting, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, and yeah. Also, sorry. talking about, you know, free help, we have to plug Daria's... Uh, oh. Yes, let's uh, Daria's do that. initiative because that's much more important Wait, than who's everything. Daria to you though? Uh, Daria's my wife so. and, and she runs We Act. Uh, Wait, before we talk about that, I just okay. want to tell you, I know them separately. I didn't realize like 20 minutes ago we had they the were connection here. married. Like, yeah, so Daria, so tell, yeah, tell me about what she's doing. So Daria is running We Act, which is an organization which brings delegations of uh, Israeli women uh, startup founders from Israel to Silicon Valley for tours to meet VCs and leading uh, women in, in venture. They're not just VCs. You guys went to Andreessen Horowitz, it's well, not just VCs, yeah, it's top, like top, top tier VCs. VCs. They went to Andreessen Horowitz. Okay, so we now had the second delegation and they've met Andreessen Horowitz, they met Sequoia. They've had in, in, a, in, a, in one week, they have four pitch night events, meeting I think a total of uh, 300 different investors, uh, which is I, th I think at the end of the day, you see a lot of delegations and accelerators and-, and, and They're you know, all fluffed. Paka, paka, paka. They're, they're, they're all important, yeah, but I think the most important thing is in these cases is to get the feedback from investors and right. you have the pitch event. And even if they don't invest, you get their feedback and you can improve. Right, right. So I think that's one of the best. So uh, do you know by heart the, the list of female entrepreneurs that were in the last delegation? I do not. Sorry, I'm, I'm sure you do. No, so it's funny because I was seeing all the pictures. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm working with Lee at site, who I love. Yes. Uh, I just met with Shoshi the other day, who was there. Shoshi has an amazing story. Uh, Shoshi, Each one of them has an amazing story. saw Shoshi in the last episode, yes. two episodes ago. Um, Hedva. Hedva. Like, unbelievable. Hedva, Hedva during that visit, the delegation actually, uh, they visited Facebook. And they met their Adi Sofer from Facebook Israel. She's uh, an old investor of mine, actually. I love Adi. So, but Khedva, just so you know who she is, she's, um, first of all, a female entrepreneur, mm -hmm. which is, I, I wouldn't say it's uncommon anymore. It's not, but it's still not, you know, as common as a male. But that, forget that. She's ultra-Orthodox, Haredi. She's from Bnei Brak. She, her, her kind, quote-unquote, if I'm generalizing, or generally, uh, this is going to sound super sexist, but this is just the reality in that world. The husband goes out to work, and the woman basically takes care right. of the house and the kids, and she's building a startup. I mean, 
and a, and a really hot startup. So Red was a rock star for sure. Remember uh, who else? Tal Navarro was there. Tal Navarro was there. Uh, they had an amazing woman from Nazareth, uh, I don't know. an Arab uh, uh, woman entrepreneur in the medical uh, sector. Amazing. And, and that's another thing. You know, a lot of people talk about diversity and inclusion, but a lot of people talk the talk. But Daria also walked the walk, and this oh, delegation man. was very diversified with women from various background, various Amazing. sectors, and I think it also it created this, uh, you know, internal... Internal yeah, network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what's interesting? For the first time I can remember in, in, I'd say, recent history, I was looking at all their pictures on Facebook and I really wished I was a female entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they were going everywhere. It was amazing, really amazing to watch. Daria's a rock star. You're going to connect us because I want to help uh, her in any way I can. Do. But yeah, yeah, man, it's really awesome to meet you. And thank you for the interview. I know I had to twist your arm. Because you're like, <laughs> Cause it's like a humble guy. You know what? It's the thing, right? There's a correlation between greatness and humility. You think it's the opposite, but people, I forget you. I don't want to embarrass you. But like, generally speaking, I'm meeting all these unbelievable people. And the greater they are, the smaller their ego. It's amazing. So I, I appreciate that. I, Just keep, I, keep it up. That's I, all. I, I thank you. And I think you, and you're welcome here. And you should come more often. Now with the direct flight, it's easier, easier-ish to come here. Still 14 and a half hours. Yeah. And you land and you wait another half an hour for customs to open. Oh uh, Crazy. But, but, but still, I mean, uh, building a bridge uh, you know, from Israel to Silicon Valley to improve you know, high-tech and startup nation right. uh, is very important. And I'm happy that you're doing it. So I, I would say that I would love to continue this meeting for like three more hours. There's not many things that I would end this meeting for. But to drive a Tesla is one of them. Right. So Your thank you very much. Is she? No. Uh, but thank you very, very much for this meeting. Thank you for the interview. And honestly, I, I don't even know if there is anything, but if there's ever anything, and this goes without saying, but I'm saying it on record. If there's ever anything I can help you with in any way, shape, or form, you know, whether it's making some noise, I know you're not a big no noise maker, <laughs> but if there is, I don't know. You let me know because I think uh, you're doing amazing things. And, you know, the truth is, there's a whole ecosystem of people bridging Israel and Silicon Valley between Shuli and Gil and yeah. Iconic. And there's just, there's a lot of them. So, I, I, you know, I think I think you're my last missing piece of the puzzle well, until we meet. Until we met now I didn't we didn't know each other but the rest of them I pretty much know so okay super cool and uh, just let me know how I can help that's the bottom line thank you so much all right man thanks what a meeting what a meeting now I'm going to drive the Tesla so I always say one day when I make my first exit I'm not gonna change very much about my life same not gonna move houses not gonna I love where I live love my life the one thing I will do is buy this bad boy oh my god so beautiful I'm the one <laughs> Liron, you're hot. How I'm long do we know each other? So Liron and I worked together at Interactive, I think it was five, six years ago, something like that. And she's married to the president of Interactive that was then acquired and is now the president of the massive company Fiber? Fiber. We just like, we're walking in Palo Alto and I, I, I just assumed, her husband's name is Ofer. I just assumed he's like on another country, so I didn't even ask. And then we're just like walk by, he's sitting in that freaking restaurant over there. But her, her husband's a hot shot, she's a hot shot. And now we're gonna turn this camera off and I'm gonna drive this bad boy. I want you to no notice the silence of this car. Doesn't make any noise. Oh, I love this. Watch the autonomous parking. All right, we're doing some okay. autonomous driving right now. pickup on this thing is absurd. Zero to 16, what? Less than four seconds. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. It's basically a family sedan that drives as fast as any supercar out there, Ferrari, like you name it, literally. We're going to take a quick, what is this highway we're on right now? You can say 82. 82. Like How long does it take to charge, miles. by the way? Um, so with supercharge, it can take up to 45 minutes. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Fully charged, 45 Fully minutes? Charged. That's yeah. incredible. That's mm -hmm. like less than my phone. That's pretty yeah. incredible. <laughs> I'm sitting here in what is this man's office, apparently, uh, and I don't know, man, you can close your ears if I'm gonna embarrass you, I'm sorry, but you know, the reality is that there's not many people on the caliber on the level of Oren. I can't describe to you, I mean, he told me some of the companies he's invested over the years, but I don't even, I don't even know where to start, but Forbes just named him one of the top investors in America. He's one of the first investors in Howes. I mean, just a remarkable, remarkable investor, but forget all that. That's, that's it's insignificant compared to something much more important, what I just told him, and that is that every person I mentioned your name to, every person, and it's probably 50 
people over the last, where I've heard your name from Kobe, from other people said, super duper mensch. Now, honestly, uh, it's, you're doing something right. So tell me about yourself, who are you? I'm an Israeli American living in the, uh, in the Bay Area. And what I do is, I'm a one man VC. I invest in companies as a VC, but also, but I don't have any uh, infrastructure other than uh, myself. And it seems to be, seems to be working. You, you, know, you know what people say sometimes about the bigger VCs, they say, you know, in Sequoia and these guys write checks, it kind of, the fate of the company depends on that, by the way, for better or for worse, so they don't follow on, things like that. That's what people say about you as well. When you put money into a company, that company, you can be sure, will do well. And that's incredible to see that one person can accomplish that. So I told you I'll make this 20 second interview, and I mean it, I, I stick to my word, but I'm gonna say on the camera what I said to you off the camera. If there's like anything I can do to support what you're doing, help you, because at the end of the day, you're helping Israeli entrepreneurs scale globally, and that's my life mission. So just keep it up and take me up on that, man. Let me know how I can help, all right? Thanks, man. Sad to leave Silicon Valley, had a great two days here. Now heading to LA, we're at SFO right now, boarding in 45 minutes. All right, security went super quick. We have an hour and a half flight to LA, going out to dinner with old friends in LA, and then just jam-packed days for the next two days, meetings, hopefully hit Disney or Universal, but heading back to Israel on Wednesday night. So this is a crazy trip, but all in all, that uh, two-day Silicon Valley uh, visit was pretty perfect, so that's good. Boarding in 45 minutes. We just landed in LA, and the friend, an old friend who I know from online, Mo Ron, came to pick me up with a car for me from Wave Car, super hot company. It was actually on Shark Tank this past week. My friend Zali was on the show, and they sent me a car. So that's kind of awesome. What is Wave Car? Wavecar is the first free car sharing company sponsored by advertising. Made it to LA, made it to my aunt's house. It was an awesome day. Tomorrow, hitting Universal Studios. Will not be bringing my camera. The next day, back to SF, then back to Tel Aviv. See you Wednesday.